Last year, Wapakoneta had a trail late in the game against Salina, facing a fourth and 32. Then Wapak head coach Doug Fry knew he needed to get the ball in the hands of his best offensive player, running back Zach Schmergy. And when the senior would lead the WBL in rushing last season, it was a pass play that proved to be the difference as he caught Cody Morgan's screen and rumbled 42 yards to the Salina three. Schmergy would score the game-winning touchdown. After that, a play Wapak will never forget. And Salina will also try and erase from their memories, starting tonight with the rematch in Mercer County. And look at this. Fans of the week, perhaps, Salina, the construction workers all decked out in neon. Wapak up 17 to six. Thomas Shaneline gets to the quarterback here. That big Redskin defense has been huge. Third and nine now, Salina trying to convert late in the second quarter. First down pass from Caleb Hoyne to Zach Marks. Nice catch. That is a first. Salina forced to punt, however, and Wapak's Cameron Locke, we saw the run back, longest in school history, against Bath, decides to return this one. Can he break it again? Locked to the outside. He would get tackled, but it was a good return. A couple plays later, it's third and 15 for the Redskins, but the Salina defense providing good coverage, so incomplete. Bulldogs get it back late in the half. Redskins defense continuing that pressure. Huge sack of point right there. Buck 44 to play. In the first half, Salina tries to get on the board and cut it to a one-score game, but the defense wouldn't let up. Jared Cockrell gets the big sack here. Wapakoneta, the victor, 34-12. They're 5-0.